people are really starting to understand the importance of tracking the real returns of your investment portfolio. So the real returns take into account not only the performance of your investments, but also the impact of inflation on them. Inflation over the last year is having such a big material effect on everybody's personal wealth. When we are seeing inflation rates of 8 to 11% in places like Europe, the US and the UK, your investment portfolio may be up 5% over the last year. But if inflation over that exact same time period was 10% then your real return will actually only be a loss of 4.5% when you use this real returns formula. So you could easily be trotting along at the moment thinking that you're doing well, but you're actually losing your buying power without even realizing it. In this video, I will be giving you my own template, which I've built, which will allow you to track the real returns of your own personal investment portfolio. And as well as that, I'm gonna give you some instructions on how to actually use it. The reason why it is so tricky to calculate the real return on an overall investment portfolio is that people tend to invest over many different time periods. So you might invest every week or every month. So as part of your investment portfolio, you might have some stocks that you've held there for like two or three years and some maybe only for two or three months. And you can't just apply one single inflation rate across the entire portfolio. You need to have a specific inflation rate for the time period that you've held each investment. And secondly, inflation is gonna be different depending on where you are from. Inflation for me in Ireland is definitely going to be different to what somebody's experiencing in the likes of Turkey. And I have set up this tracker so you will be able to adjust it to your own specific region. So now I will give you a very brief tutorial on how to actually use this tracker that I've built. Okay, so here is the Google Sheets tracker, which I'm gonna give you a few instructions on now. Um, Anything firstly that you see highlighted here in blue, any of these blue cells, anything that is highlighted in blue will require some manual input by yourself. Everything else that you see that is not shaded, that will be automatically updated. There's formulas based in there. So if you have to add in additional lines, you just need to drag down the formula from one line to the next. Another bit of important information about this tracker is you're gonna need a separate line for each different investment. So if you buy Apple on two different occasions, you're going to have to have it on two separate lines because they're both going to have different ages. So you might have bought a couple of Apple shares a year ago and a more maybe six months ago. So they're gonna to have to go on separate lines so we can calculate everything correctly. So the first bit of information that you're gonna to have to put in here is the date that you actually purchased that asset. Um, then it's gonna automatically calculate how many months old that investment is using this formula here that will automatically calculate then you just need to put in the ticker symbol yourself for whatever investment that you're um, after buying and that will automatically then add in the company's name its industry its market cap its daily percentage change its beta its pe ratio and then you need to just add in the number of shares you bought and the average cost that you bought it at. The market share price then will pull in automatically from Google Finance and then that will automatically calculate your total equity based on the number of shares by the share price. And the same thing in dollars and euro and you can add in other currencies there as well if you want to change that in the top left hand corner. You can just update the formula here to pull in any local currency that you use. Similarly here you might have to add in the total cost here in column P um, for whatever local currency you're using as well for each transaction. That will automatically then calculate uh, your gain and loss so far and what percentage allocation each stock is in the portfolio. Then it will automatically calculate the gain and loss percentage in say dollars uh, and also in your local currency and any FX gain or loss that you have faced because of the currency swings. And most importantly, what we are here for today to calculate the real return of your portfolio. So this is where it starts here now. So we've already calculated the nominal return here. So we need to put in the relevant inflation rate for each asset. And how this is calculated basically is I have another tab here, as you'll see, inflation data. Uh, so we'll go to this tab here. So the data I've pulled in here at the moment is the harmonized index of consumer prices for the Eurozone. Um, and I have a link there to my data source. So based on your region, you're going to have to update column C here for whatever region you're based in. You can manually add in the monthly consumer price index data for whatever country you are from. Um, so I have it here for the last three years. And you'll see here on the left hand side, it also works out how many months ago um, that particular month was. So December 
2019 was 36 months ago so this formula here on the left works that out that's a very important bit of information because i have a vlookup set up then based on the age of your transaction which we set at the very start so the age of this um apple transaction was 11 months old um so that is going to then pull in the inflation rate over here based on 11 months from my inflation data here so it's going to pull in um this row here which is 11 months which is a uh, inflation rate of 10 percent so that 10 percent pulls in automatically into my portfolio tracker here and then we do our real return uh, calculation here which is the exact same so it's one plus the nominal rate divided by uh, one plus the inflation rate minus one so in this case the nominal return on that apple transaction was 124 percent and the real return was actually only 103 percent and then we do that for all of the different um, investments and then we can work out our total average and stuff at the end so for this portfolio it had a nominal return of 12.9 percent but an actual real return of only 6.21 percent when you take into account inflation so i will leave a link below in the description section if you want to take this and use it yourself you're probably going to need to copy and paste this whole doc into your own separate spreadsheet and um, that's probably the only way i can properly share it um, but if anybody has any questions or any queries on how it works, please let me know down in the comment section as well and I'll try and help you out with them. Um, I hope you find it useful. I think it's something that I'm going to uh, find useful. I've only really first kind of cracked it here myself recently, so I'm definitely going to be using this going forward. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you um, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as I'll come back with hopefully a few more templates and useful things like this again in the future.